So the Fringe Sport Mammoth Belt Squat is universal. It's attachable to any rack. Right here we have it on our Osprey 3x3 rack, or it'll fit on any 3x3 or 2x3 rack out there in the market and includes all attachments with it to attach it to those racks. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, what the heck is a belt squat anyways? The belt squat is about two things. A lot of people either can't squat due to spinal loading issues or due to shoulder mobility issues, or they just don't want that heavy CNS presence by squatting. So basically a normal squat, you set the bar up in the rack, you put it on your back, or you could do, even do it on the front. You have to retract your shoulders and you're getting loading because you're putting weight right at the top of your spine. And so then when you do the old down and up, not only are you working your posterior chain, but you're also putting excess load on your back, spine, and shoulders. So what a belt squat does is instead of having that load being up here at your shoulders, it puts that load here between your legs. You've got this very nicely padded belt distributing that weight across your waist. Now, is this gonna replace squatting for everyone? No, it's certainly not. But if you've got those issues with your spine, with your shoulders, with your back, this is a great, great, great replacement or even supplement to your training. All right, now let's get this thing in use. So the belt squat is in a lever position up against a rack. You wanna load the weight onto it. Because the belt squat is hinged onto a rack or wall, you're not getting 100% felt load. We're looking at about 80% felt load. So if you put 100 pounds on here, you're gonna feel about 80 pounds of force. So right now I've got 110 pounds on here, and I'm gonna show you how to do some real simple squatting. D-rings. So the lower you wanna go, the higher you're gonna latch this baby in. For now, let's just latch it in on the lowest D-ring. And then I'm gonna to wanna to engage. So you're gonna lean back just a little bit and you're gonna do that squat movement. And you can see I'm getting nice and low. You can also do some lunge movements with it to work weighted lunges. You can also even do some deadlifting or row type of movements. So let's do a couple of those. Boom, boom, boom. 